Hi Pisces, welcome. This is going to be your current energy check. So let's jump right in and see what energies we have for you. What do we have for Pisces at this moment in time? We have the Hermit. The Page of Wands. And the Ten of Wands. So Pisces, I feel like at this time you're focused on doing, you know, taking a, an inward journey. You could be weighing your beliefs, your ideas, your, your principles, things that you have carried with you so far, you know, your beliefs, your value system, and you could be assessing those as you move into the next phase of your life. Uh, you could be, you know, tossing some things that don't suit, uh, that don't align with you anymore, some ideas or an older version of yourself even that doesn't align with you anymore and you know you're coming out as a new version of yourself um but with the ten of wands there's something heavy about this process i feel like i feel like you are excited pisces about doing the inner work and um kind of starting afresh but I feel like there is past baggage that you're carrying with you as you're going into this inward journey, you know, to kind of get answers and sort things out. Uh, you could also actually be going on a trip, like literally, like physically, if, if it's not a metaphorical journey, it could be a literal journey. But, you know, with all the excitement and the enthusiasm, there is also a bit of heaviness and I feel like that's past baggage that you're uh, carrying let's clarify the ten of wands for you so we have the king of pentacles let's get one more you know with the king of pentacles and the ten of wands pisces it could be there's something about your finances that's stressing you out uh, or there could be another energy uh someone who is supposed to be helping you uh someone who is very resourceful and is you know this person has enough to do well and keep people around them also well that is the amount of resources that you ha that this person has but i feel like someone is causing you to feel burdened i want to know more about this king of pentacles why is Pisces feeling burdened? Too many cards. We do have the Six of Wands here. You know, I feel like maybe Pisces, you and this person could have been in the same team or part of some of the same community or uh, something you all did together. You know, or maybe this person has an influence over some some people in your life. You know, this person, you see, this is the Mad Hatter. I asked why the Ten of Wands and the Mad Hatter came out. All right. So there is a Mad Hatter character. I'm not saying the person is mad, but... Over here, the Mad Hatter character is the King of Pentacles. There is a character that is making you feel, a very resourceful character that is making you feel burdened, causing you to feel burdened in some way. This person belongs to a group or, you know, uh, the same group as yourself. Uh, even they're a part of something very close. But for some reason, they're causing you to feel burdened. Why this burden? Why the Ten of Wands for Pisces? Why this burden? So we have the Seven of Pentacles. There's something about... You know,
Filipino Pisces, you're doing your inner work and I feel like you're thinking hard about this character, this person that that is a part of your group and you're wondering about, you know, the time, effort and energy you have invested in this person and whether it's worth continuing, whether it's worth to continue putting in the effort or not. You know, you might have, um, you know, you might be getting someone else like a fresh, uh, you could be trying to get someone else, a friend or somebody else to take an objective view on this so that they can help you out. But there's been something about, there's been like, there is careful consideration at this time and maybe a change in, there is an assessment happening whether you want to continue dealing with this energy or not, whether you want to continue investing. And I feel like that is what you're, you know, kind of, uh, Assessing as the hermit. What do we have underneath the deck? Three of cups. So, uh, Pisces, you need to, you know, as you're doing your inner work with the three of cups and the six of swords, there is a friend group. There is definitely a group, a shared dynamic. Um, you know, and I feel like with the three of cups and the six of swords, your priority at this time is to kind of make peace and, you know, move on, move forward. Basically, the advice is to move forward. If you are considering to, you know, if you are confused about at any point about whether you should or shouldn't invest, the advice is to kind of make peace, you know, come, you know, make peace, come together pay respect to because these could be your friends or frenemies or something of that category so you know kind of with the six of the six of swords here is about making up what you making up your mind about what you want and moving forward so it's all up to you Pisces um, um, and I feel like you know exactly what it is that you want um, yeah um, so Pisces, this is what I have for you. I hope this helped. Um, thank you for watching patiently. Thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. And I will catch you again soon later. Bye.